Top 10 CAD trade jobs to get into in 2025. What's up, trade warriors? Listen, I've been in HVAC for 29 years. 29. I've crawled through more attics than I care to count. And let me tell you something, the game is changing. While I was out there sweating my butt off in 120 degree attics, some smart cookies were sitting in air conditioning offices making more money than me drawing lines on computers. Yeah, I said it, CAD designers. And honestly, I was a little bitter about it at first. But here's the thing. Before we get started, smash that like button and subscribe. All right, let's get into it. The reality check. Look, I'm gonna be straight up with you. The construction industry is going digital. If you're not adapting, you're dying, period. I've watched guys with 20 plus years of experience get left behind because they refuse to learn the new technology. Don't be that guy. CAD isn't just drawing on computers anymore. It's the backbone of every major construction project. From the house you live in, to the skyscrapers downtown, to the bridges you drive over every day. Someone designed that in CAD, and that someone is making bank. Hey everyone, if you're having some trouble deciding what trade careers to choose, check out Course Careers free intro courses where you can learn about certain careers and determine which one would be the best fit for you. There are trade courses on HVAC, plumbing, electrical, construction project managing, construction estimating, architectural drafting, CAD designer, and logistics coordinator. I have provided two links in the description and pinned in the comments below. One link is a general link for all trades. The other link is for CAD only. Trust me, I wish I had something like this when I was starting out. Job number 10, CAD drafter entry level. All right, let's start on the bottom and work our way up. CAD drafter, this is your foot in the door. You prove you're not in an idiot position. Salary range, 35 to 50,000 plus. Not bad for someone who's probably still figuring out which end of the hammer to hold. Sorry, I had to. You'll be taking hand sketches from engineers and architects and turning them into clean, precise digital drawings. Think of it like being a translator. Engineers speak in chicken scratch. You speak in beautiful, clean lines. Requirements, high school diploma and some CAD training. That's it. No crawling through attics, no getting electrocuted, no dealing with Karen complaining about her thermostat. Just a computer and the sweet sound of air conditioning. Job number nine, mechanical CAD designer. This is where my HVAC cart starts beating faster. 45 to 65,000 plus per year. You're designing the guts of a building, HVAC systems, plumbing, fire suppression, all the stuff that keeps buildings from being death traps. I've worked for these guys for years, and let me tell you, they're the unsung heroes. When your office building doesn't collapse or catch fire, thank the mechanical CAD designer. You need to understand how systems work together. Physics, engineering principles. It's like being a conductor of an orchestra, except instead of violins, you're coordinating pipes, ducting, and electrical systems. And unlike me, you don't have to actually install any of this stuff. Job eight, electrical CAD designer, 50,000 to 70,000 plus. These are the wizards who make sure you don't get fried when you flip a light switch. Every wire, every connection, every circuit, they design it all. I've seen electricians make good money, but these CAD designers, they're designing the roadmap that electricians follow. They're basically the GPS for electricity and electricity doesn't care if you're having a bad day. It'll kill you just the same. So these designers better get it right. The margins for error is, well, death. No pressure though. Job number seven, civil CAD technician. 40 to 60,000 plus. Roads, bridges, water systems, sewer systems. Basically all the stuff that keeps society from falling apart. You know those potholes you complain about? Someone designed that road in CAD first. The bridges you drove over to get to work, CAD design. The water that comes out of your faucet, the sewer systems that take your, well, you know away, all CAD design. It's not glamorous work, but it's essential work. And essential work pays the bills. Job six, architectural CAD designer, 45 to 70,000 plus. 
This is where art meets science. You're designing buildings that don't just work, they look good too. I've installed HVAC in some beautiful buildings and some absolute disasters. The difference? Good architectural CAD design. You need an eye for aesthetics and technical knowledge. It's like being a digital architect's assistant, except you're doing most of the actual work. Sorry architects, you know it's true. You're turning dreams into blueprints, sketches into reality. Pretty cool when you think about it. Quick break here. We'll check out which trade is good for you. You can access the free course in the link below. Job five, pipe designer, 55 to 75,000 plus. Oil refineries, chemical plants, power plants. You're designing the circulatory systems of industrial facilities. One mistake and boom, literally, the pressure, pun intended, is real. But so is the pay. These guys are in high demand because not everyone wants to deal with the complexity. Thousands of pipes, hundreds of valves, dozens of pumps, all connected in 3D puzzles that would make your brain hurt. But if you can handle it, you're golden. Job four, BIM coordinator, building information modeling, 60 to 80,000 plus. This is the future of construction. Instead of 2D drawings, you're creating 3D models with everything, costs, schedules, materials, clash detection. You're like the air traffic controller of construction projects. I've seen these guys catch million dollar mistakes before they happen. A pipe trying to go through a beam, BIM catches it. Two different trades trying to use the same space, BIM catches it. You're literally saving companies millions of dollars and they pay you for it. Job three, CAD manager, 65 to 90,000 plus. You're managing the CAD department, leading teams, setting standards. This is where technical skills meet leadership skills. You need to understand CAD inside and out and be able to manage people. Let me tell you from experience, managing people is harder than any technical skill. You're dealing with deadlines, budgets, client changes, and it's like keeping a team of designers from losing their minds. It's like herding cats if cats could use AutoCAD, but the pay makes it worth it. Job number two, plant designer. 70 to 95,000 plus. Manufacturing plants, processing facilities, power plants. You're designing the factories that make everything we use. Your phone, made in a plant you might have designed. Your car, same thing. The complexity is insane. Conveyor systems, robotic arms, safety systems, environmental controls. It's like designing a giant mechanical organism. One that needs to run 24 seven without breaking down. The responsibility is enormous, but so is the paycheck. Job one, senior CAD designer slash lead designer, 75 to 110,000 plus. This is the top of the mountain. You're the go-to person when nobody else knows what to do. Complex projects, impossible deadlines, demanding clients, they call you. You've got 10 plus years of experience. You've seen it all, done it all. You're monitoring younger designers, leading projects, making big decisions. And here's the beautiful part. You're making six figures sitting at a desk. No crawling through attics, no getting dirty, no physical wear and tear. Your biggest occupational hazard is carpal tunnel syndrome. After 29 years of beating up my body in HVAC, that sounds pretty damn good. The honest truth. Look, I'll be straight with you. I wish I had known about these opportunities when I was younger. Don't get me wrong, I love what I do. HVAC has been good to me, but my back, my knees, they're telling me different story. The CAD jobs, they're the future. Technology isn't going away. It's only getting more important. While everyone else is fighting over the same old trade jobs, CAD designers are creating new opportunities. And the best part, you can learn this stuff online. No trade school debt. No apprenticeship, no kissing ass for four years. Just you, a computer, and the determination to learn. Getting started. So how do you get started? First learn the software, AutoCAD, Revit, SolidWorks. YouTube University is your friend, but don't forget to subscribe here first. Second, get certified. 
Industrial certifications carry weight. Third, build a portfolio design. Something. Anything. Fourth, network. Join CAD groups. Go to trade shows. And fifth, be patient. Nobody becomes a CAD wizard overnight. But the payoff? Totally worth it. The reality check part two. Now, I'm not saying CAD is easy. It's not. You need attention to detail, patience, problem solving skills, and you need to be okay with sitting at a computer for eight plus hours a day. Some people can't handle that. They need to be moving, building, creating with their hands. I get it. I'm one of those people. But if you're good with technology, if you like solving puzzles, if you want to make good money without destroying your body, CAD might be your ticket. Final thoughts. Here's what I learned after 29 years in the trades. The industry is changing fast. The guys who adapt, they thrive. The guys who don't, they get left behind. I'm not saying abandon traditional trades. We need skilled tradespeople. But we also need people who can bridge the gap between old school craftsmanship and new technology. CAD designers are that bridge. They're taking the knowledge and the experience of guys like me and turning it into digital precision. It's beautiful, really, and it pays well. Closing. So there you have it. The top 10 CAD trade jobs to get into in 2025. Some of these might surprise you. Some might scare you, but all of them represent opportunity. The question is, are you going to take it? If this video helped you, smash that like button. If you want more unfiltered trade career advice, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And remember, why did the CAD designer break up with their girlfriend? Because she said their relationship lacked dimension. Keep grinding, trade warriors. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.